Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Um, I have got the brand new release. It just released today, 2020 Stadium Club. It is here. I'm super excited about it. I love Stadium Club each and every year. Now I've seen a little bit of this and um, I don't know if I love it as much as last year or the year before, but it still is awesome. The photography is amazing. I know if you've seen any of this, uh, any kind of Stadium Club, you've seen that the photography is absolutely amazing on this. So I got a chance to get a retail, I don't even know what they call these, like a retail something box. It's got 24 packs, five cards per pack. Um, so it's not, it's definitely bigger than a blaster. It's not a gravity feed box. It's not a hanger. What, I don't really know exactly what they call this. I think it's like a, you know, a retail something, mega box or what, I don't even know. But um, looking forward to this so much. Um, I opened up a couple of these. I don't know if you saw um if you had a chance if not run back and see it um i did opened up a box just like this of 2019 stadium club um actually maybe a couple of them but uh or maybe i opened one on camera and one not on camera but uh really like that you get a ton of packs and i did really well in those last ones um i think there was a couple of chrome that were in there there was some uh, red lots of red parallels and stuff like that if you haven't had a chance to see it yet here is the um packs uh we got vladimir guerrero jr on there the first baseman for the uh blue jays and here's the back if you want to see that um i don't know really what kind of retail odds there are but you can pause that and take a look um there's the free stuff if you want it but uh, well, i just want to get into this i want to show you guys these cards if you haven't had a chance to see them yet um because this stuff is absolutely amazing looking um, just so cool. So the first card we get is a uh, D.D. Gregorius. Max Scherzer. Look at that. Oh, there we, there's our first chrome. It's a Stanton. And then we got us. Uh, this is a cool insert this year. There's a Daryl Strawberry. I'm trying to get that reflected. The problem is these are really glossy and they uh, hit off all the light that I have coming in here so you can see the video well. But there's Daryl Strawberry. Hanging out with a bat with his shirt off. There's the back of the regular cards, uh, if you're interested in that. Here's kind of like the design. They got the um, the colors down here um, as uh, the team colors. And then they also, they carry on here on the top. And so then they got some information. And last year, or this, I guess, is, is his, his career numbers. And just a little bit of information about him. But very cool, uh, really awesome. I uh, love the chrome. Like I said, in last year's box, I got quite a few chrome in these uh, like retail mega box or whatever you call them. Here's an insert called Crash and Burn. It's a Bryce Harper. Those will go right to my oldest son. Uh, it's called Bash and Burn. And so I guess they got like stolen bases and stuff like that. So that was a pretty cool one right there. Um, hope you had a chance. I went, I uh, had a, a really cool um, opportunity this morning. I went... Um, it's not where I got this box from, by the way, so these are not there, but uh, went by Target this morning. I was on my way to work, and I have not been to Target in a long time because every time I go there, there is uh, nothing. Um, so I just kind of stopped going. Nice uh, Cunha Jr. there. Um, the, oh, <laughs> let me stop my story for just a second. So there's a red Emperors of the Zone. These are really cool looking. Uh, try not to get, there we go. Um, of a guy I'm super excited a Jack Flurry that I catch and then it's actually a red as well um, so that's very very cool these are really cool looking and um, very very good one for the PC there um, they do these flipped over so oh there's a sepia card so there's stuff that's only retail you can only get it in retail it's a sepia card I'm going to try to hold them like that so maybe you can see them a little better here's a McCutcheon these sepia cards are always awesome I really like them and then we finish up with a no no Syndergaard. Um, so I went to Target this morning just on a whim, just on my way to work and walked in and the guy, uh, the vendor was actually um, stocking the stuff. And so I got in a great conversation with him. Um, he could kind of tell that I was just there for, uh, um, you know, a couple of packs here and there. I just was kind of talking to him. He was loading up Pokemon and I was kind of wondering because um, the last time, two times I've been in Target uh, over the last couple of months, um, it looked like there was, uh, they were kind of phasing baseball out. Sean Dula, that's a cool one. Um, they were phasing baseball out. It looked like the Pokemon section was growing bigger and bigger. There's a nice Kyle Lewis rookie. That's an awesome card. And then, um, and here's an In the Wings. Otani. 
That's another one of the inserts there from uh, this year. And um, and so we got talking and um, was a really nice guy and uh, was just asking him. And he's not really a baseball collector or anything like that. You know, he doesn't watch videos or anything. But we're just talking about how the state of baseball cards are and how annoyed he is with the people. Uh, there's a Guerrero Jr. So look how awesome that looks. Um but how annoying it is that he put something on the shelves like, and within two seconds, guys come and they grab all of them. And it was funny because while I was there, um, there was three or four guys just hovering um, around the toy section and around um, the uh, baseball card section. Oh, look at that one. I don't know if that's something special, but I've never seen the big logo over the front. And that might be a, that's a black, I guess, because the number, the lettering's in black and that's in black. So that's really cool looking. That, that's a sweet looking card. I've never seen that before with the logo over the top. Anyway, I know I'm going to stop my story about a thousand times, but and there's a Blake Snell. Um, but we were just talking and there was like three or four guys hovering around. And we were just like, he's like, look at that guy right there. He's, he's a guy. And I go, yeah, you can kind of just like see it on their face. He's like, yeah, it's like a mixture of excitement and desperation all mixed in one and it was just really funny because there's like three or four guys like just hovering looking waiting to see what he puts out but he said yeah his job is um you know he's he's had his job i think he said he had his job for like 10 years he's been doing it for 10 years and he's never seen a year like this where there's just so much interest in stuff okay oh, k-line there here's the first power zone uh insert um pete alonzo that's a really awesome one. i'll show you the back of that one um, but he's never seen a year like this that where like people would just pull off the displays and he says it drives him insane just like everyone else he said he said people you know basically almost like follow him around and ask for like his information and stuff and he just thinks it's so creepy and uh, so he was nothing but nice to me realized um, he actually was heading towards the baseball card section and I was kind of walking around um, just looking around at other stuff and he came by and he's like there's a ton of guys hanging up out there. Um, um, I'm going to go to the toy section and do it first. And so he um, he said, if you want to follow me. So I just kind of let him do his thing. He kind of pulled some stuff out. All he had was um, Tops Fire, which I grabbed a, uh, two blasters of. And then um, and then he had some archives, which I was I'm kind of done with already. So, um, But he put that out. But he had told me, and there's a nice sunny gray Emperor's of the Zone. So there's a regular one without the red printing um but he had told me that um and maybe you want to go check your tops guy or your uh target guys and ladies because um there was a he was said that they were building a whole end cap of um of baseball card stuff and baseball card supplies so like i actually grabbed um some sleeves i know how hard they and some top loaders i know how hard they are to come by so there was a whole uh end cap of archives and fire if you were interested and then also um some top loaders and sleeves and stuff like that so there's a red one of kikuchi and then uh, stanton the uh, regular card so it was really cool because i had never run into a vendor um never got a chance to talk to him never been to a place where um it loaded up and i just really it was just such a whim this morning of like running around now he did say that he um likes to change um his uh look at that card that's so, look at that that is awesome that's awesome uh there's nola who just got traded what to the padres i think he got traded to the padres uh, speaking of the padres there's nunez rookie who seems to be in all of them there's a victor robles uh crash and burn or what is it blaze and burn bash and burn very cool one right there. And then his teammate, Soto. That's a sweet looking one right there. Um, but he uh, was just talking about, what was uh, they going to say? Um, oh, but yeah, you hit your targets. Um, he was just saying that um, there was a whole bunch of stuff coming in to be on the end caps. They actually were going to build an end cap of cards. So there might they might be out there. He was just saying that he moves. That's what I was saying. That's a nice Devers. That's pretty cool. Um, so he was just saying that he... Um, uh, I lame, lost my train of thought uh, again. Is this another red? Yeah, Mitch Keller red. 
um, and Larry and Otto, um, he gets to change his schedule around. Target doesn't care. Um, so he can move around. He can come in on a Monday morning or a Wednesday night or whatever it is. But uh, he also does Walmarts. And they make him do it on either Thursday or Friday. So there's a little tip. If they uh, pretty much Walmart has said you're going to load on Thursday, Thursday and Wednesday. And so he says it's cool that the targets that he does on uh, Thursdays and Fridays during the day are usually empty because all the guys are over there trying to get stuff off the Walmart uh, stuff. So they're all loading up over there. But it was just really cool. Just kind of getting a little behind the scenes of uh, kind of what his, you know, I asked him if, it, if he liked his job. Uh, before all this year, and he was like, yeah, he's like, I still do. He's nice sepia of Larkin. He's like, I still do, but it's, uh, um, you know, it's definitely different. It's definitely different, and it does, it was kind of cool to hear him. It drives him nuts, you know, that uh, those guys are doing all that stuff, and, um, but very, very cool. Got a, a new uh, opportunity this morning, and, um, but I had ordered this through the mail. So this actually just came in the mail and, um, this was just something I was looking forward to, uh, getting today. So, so glad that I got it on release day. It's just really, really cool. There's that guy I cannot pronounce, uh, but I'm getting a lot of his cards to suit to go to, or <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Yoshi. I am. I apologize to pronounce your name. So is this, what's this? It's another black um, that's what I've noticed in these uh, packs here. You get lots of reds, lots of blacks, some chromes, some sepias. You get kind of the mixture of everything. And I think last year, I can't remember for sure. But I think last year I even got an auto in one of these. But um, not. I don't don't go back and watch the other videos and then say, "Ha ha, you didn't get a uh, you didn't get one." But uh, there's a Brayu, just super uh, hot uh, playing this year. Uh, awesome guy. Uh, awesome. Guy have an awesome year. Hank Aaron. I got a Chris Bryant. I know a Syndergaard and Emperors of the Zone. These have these did turn out really well. They're really cool looking. A um, little bit better than last year's. And then there's Nelson Cruz. But yeah, get a chance. If you get a chance, uh, run out to your targets. Um, like I said, they they're putting in a lot of stuff. Um, and and um, don't know if all the guys grabbed everything, but it didn't look like they were too interested in fire or um, or archives. Um, they weren't jumping at it. I think they were just mostly looking for basketball. All right, so here we go. So two sweet cards in a row. We got a Yadier Molina. We got a red. That's going to go to my youngest son. He was just saying, like, I hope you get some Yadis. Uh, so that's cool. That's going to go to him. And then I got a Joey Gallo card. I've been really lucky at pulling Joey. I really like Joey Gallo. And then there's a Kluber right there. Um, was uh, very, um, got a little bit excited on the trade deadline because they were talking about Joey Gallo going somewhere else that maybe they might trade him. And I'm just sitting there going, oh, please let it be the Cardinals. Please let it be the Cardinals because, man, he would look good at that number four spot behind Goldschmidt. Now, I didn't hear the Cardinals name come up once. It was like Tampa Bay and who else was it? There was two teams that had were kind of like with mention of him, and he didn't get traded. Jake Fraley, a rookie. He didn't get traded or anything like that, but um, uh, um, I was just like, could the Cardinals just do something that would be awesome and like one of my favorite uh, PC guys comes to the Cardinals? There's Don Matting. That's a cool one. Um, but alas, it did not happen. <laughs> so it was just kind of like a little bit of like a, a disappointment and a letdown, um, on, on the, on, on trade day, even though there was a 0% chance of him going to the Cardinals. So it was, it was just like a, something I was watching the news stuff all the way up until the deadline. But, uh, yeah, I would love to see him. It would be so cool to see him, uh, in a Cardinals uniform, but uh, not looking like it's going to happen uh, anytime soon. Maybe. We'll see if his name was out there. There's Mr. Mike Trout card. Uh, Brock Burke. Uh, we got us uh, Matt Thias. And then a red Zach Collins rookie. Looks like we got mm, seven packs, eight packs left or whatever. So I really appreciate you hanging out with me here, opening this stuff. Um, 
I just really like Stadium Club every year. And that's why I kind of like paid a little bit more. There's a nice Trevor Story, another PC guy. Um, really like Stadium Club every year. And um, so I, go, I spend a little bit more um, on these boxes. Ooh, here we go. Nice red Tatis. I like Tatis Jr. as well. Obviously, he is the hottest guy in baseball right now. And so his cards are going up and up and up. And uh, I really like him kind of putting his cards away. I got some, got a couple of rookie cards of his. And then nice Reese Hoskins. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you get a chance to get uh, some of these. Uh, Blaster or something like that. Or um, looks like Fire and Archives will be uh, a good one. It doesn't look like... Hopefully the flippers are going to get that, and maybe like it's now time to, um, maybe it's settling down just a little bit. Maybe they're sitting on their uh, product there, and uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe baseball cards can get back to a little bit of a normalcy. Uh, there's a Charlie Blackman Sepia. These are so cool looking. Mr. Rod Carew. And I love how they take the older players. I'm not a big older player collector or whatever, but I love Stadium Club and like they put they put some of these old pictures. Sometimes they take black and white pictures and make them uh, color. They look really cool. And then there's a Kim rookie who's having a pretty good year for the Cardinals. He moved into that starting rotation and um, pitched in the game last night where they uh, absolutely destroyed. Um, oh, now I'm drawing a blank. It'll come to me. There's Luke Voigt, who's having a great season. Ex-Cardinal. Oh, the Reds. They destroyed the Reds last night. There's a Beau Bichette rookie. Another good one. Very, very cool picture. And it's awesome. That's what Stadium Club is known for right there. There's an old guy, Nomar Garcia Parra. Uh, we got a Christian Yelich. Bash and Burn. That one. And then we got us uh, Joey Luceshi. I don't know how to say his name. I apologize. Uh, six more packs left. They're so thin, it's hard to count. So six more packs. I'll try to get through this pretty quick. Uh, like I said, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for, uh, well, here's a backwards pack or a backwards card. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Okay. Uh, Kerry Wood, Jake Rogers. Oh, we got gypped that one. There's only four cards in that pack. It's pretty cool, Mark McGuire, but that's why it was like, there's a, supposed to be a card there. There's supposed to be a card on the back. There should have been a card on the back. Well, that's a bummer, uh, but there's that's a pretty cool Mark McGuire. I like that one. Make sure I check the pack that there's not a card in there. <laughs> Don't like getting gypped. But, oh well. Like I said, this has been a great open so far. Lots of... Good rookie, some PC guys, some st stuff for my kids. Nice George Brett there. There's another Bryce Harper, so that'll go to my son. Uh, Veritech, that's such a sweet looking card. I mean, how do you even get that picture? That is awesome looking. So cool. Oh, we got us a numbered card, our first number card out of 50, Brian Buxton. Oh, a blue. I didn't know there was like a blue. I didn't know. That's cool looking. Oh, I like that with the Minnesota and the blue. That's cool. Out of 50. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And then who's that? Uh, Josh Hader, who was, there was some conversations about him being on, uh, going on trade day as well, but uh, he stayed put as well. Um, I guess one of the biggest ones was, and more surprising one, was Starling Marte to the Miami right after they had traded Villar. Buster Posey, Moustakis. Bobby Bradley, hugging Lindor there. That's cool. An Arianato Power Zone. Oh, this is a cool one, guys. That's a cool looking picture. Mike. And then his grandpa. That's so cool. What a cool picture. What a cool moment. I mean, he's having actually a uh, pretty good season, I think. I, last time I checked on him, he's had a pretty good season. And, you know, obviously the connection's there, but to have a card with your uh, amazing player of a grandfather on your card, and this can, you know, he this can go down in history. That's so cool. I love that. I love that. that love that card. That's so cool. I think I've said so cool about 25 times. 
so you guys can maybe put a little counter and uh and <laughs> and you can count along with how many times they say that's so cool there's edgar martinez um his his uh speaking of cool his uh stadium club uh card last year with the flaming bats was just a really cool one and so this one uh here where he's saying hi to the fans is a uh, is a cool one um randall 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 gritchick another ex-cardinal that is having another good year Ben Attenney on one knee. I got uh, Soroka. I'm going to guess this is a red. Yep. Good young pitcher. And then, oh, that's a cool one. Ozzy Smith being a Cardinals fan and an Ozzy Smith collector. Very, 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 very cool. And two more packs. So there's 24 packs. So I know this got a little long, but man, thanks for hanging out. If you've made it this far, I really do appreciate it. Um, Hope you enjoyed this open. Um, this, these cards are just awesome looking. I love Stadium Club each and every year. Chris Paddock. Uh, Walker Bueller, Emperor of the Zone. Very, very cool. One of the better pitchers out there. And a Matt Olson. Now, I haven't seen the checklist, so I don't know everybody that's in here. But, man, uh, I think one of the only people that I'm missing that I really like is a Jack Flaherty. Um, other than the Emperor of the Zone, I like his regular card. There's a Gratterall rookie card. A Nick Senzel. These are cool. I don't know when. I don't know if that's a spring train because I can't tell if this is a red guy. But I've seen a lot of uh, cards of the Reds with these no-sleeve things showing off the guns. And they're pretty... I, I think it's an ugly look, but uh, it's pretty cool. And it's cool that they kind of captured it. And uh, there's a nice Nick Senzel. Um, let's see. Kane. Uh, who's the last one? Tony Gwynn. Love Tony Gwynn. Watched a, a documentary on Tony Gwynn. It was absolutely awesome. Um, I think it was on Netflix, maybe, if you want to go check it out. And then Eddie Rosario Red. So that's it. Guys, I really appreciate it. Um, really, uh, thanks for hanging out. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And um, am I blabbering? So uh, <laughs> thank you once again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.